This is a good time to get the news of the morning. How are things in your head? How are things in your torso? How are things in your legs and arms? How are things in your mind? Is it ready to settle in? It's been running around all morning. It's time to settle in. We spend so much time paying attention to the news outside that we miss the really important things in life, which is, which are the things going on inside us, especially our intentions, because our intentions are what shape our actions, and our actions shape our lives. And yet all too often our intentions are hidden from us. You do something and then someone asks you, why did you do that? And sometimes you can't say, that's a bad sign. You want to be really clear about what you intend to accomplish each time you say something, do something, even when you think things. Ask yourself, where is this going to go? As the Buddha said, we're all on, all on a path. We're on different paths, and sometimes we don't know where these paths are going. What he does is provide us with a map. So if you act in these ways, so that'll lead to a good destination. You'll act in those ways, so that's not so good. So remember, everything has, has an impact. I was talking to someone today who said that she found it reassuring to think about how things were simply a result of causes and conditions, as if that let her off the hook. But where do those causes and conditions come from? The Buddha says, Samudhiya, what arises from within. The conditions that shape your life arise from within. If they're not things you're doing right now, they're things you did in the past. It's a combination of the two that gives you your experience. So sometimes your actions from the past don't give you many good options. But there's always the option to do the most skillful thing given the situation. And oftentimes the most skillful thing is to abstain. There are things we want to say sometimes and you realize, no, that's not a good time to say it. Or it's not a good thing to say at all. In other words, by refraining from doing things, you do an awful lot of good. And that's always possible. You can decide not to speak, not to act, even not to think. And sometimes that's the best contribution to the situation. Other times you have to think, you have to work things through, figure things out, before you can come up with what's the good thing to say or do. But there's always a skillful alternative, there's always a skillful option, even in really bad situations. People will sometimes say, well, situations forced me to do this, do that. I was reading a book called The Mafia Queens of Mumbai. Someone sent it to me. I don't know why. Of course, I don't know why I read it, but it was interesting reading. But one of the things was that these women who, who were, got involved in lives of crime, they said, well, the situation forced them. Well, you look at the situations they were in, and they could have easily not gone into a life of crime. It was simply their greed or their lust, or something that was pushing them. So even people born in bad situations can still act in skillful ways. And here we are, we've got really ideal circumstances right now for the practice, so try to be as skillful as you can in what you do and say and think. Those options are always open. And when you're clear about your intentions and you're clear that they're skillful, then you know that you're on the right course. The path that you're following is a good path. It's going to take you to a good place.